What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man Chaz Ellis once again. And a lot of ladies ask me what they can do to get the man they want. What they can do to get the guy they really want to be with and get that guy to treat them the way they actually want to be treated. No Netflix and chill, no disappearing acts, none of the games and all that kind of stuff. Well, the key is having options. That's the key to everything. If you want to know how to get the person that you really want, and you want to get the person to treat you the way you want to be treated, you have to understand the concept of having options. It ain't about getting angry and upset when things don't go your way. It's about understanding that when you have options, that when you have more things that you could be doing than just hanging out with them, you have the upper hand, you have the power. A lot of people are so willing and so quick to jump ship on every situation and call somebody a fuckboy or call somebody a player or cry and be like, if you was a real man, you would treat me the way I want to be treated. That type of thing. But the reality of the situation is if you don't have options, you're never really going to get what you want because you're going to tolerate so much less. You're not going to be able to help it. And when I talk about options, I mean equal level options. You can't say, here's this 10 that I want to be with, and he's just offering me Netflix and chill, or offering me, you know, on again, off again, no commitment type of situations, and here's this 4 that's offering to marry me. Well, if you really wanted to be with a 4, then you would have went on ahead and married that dude a long time ago. You would have went on ahead and married somebody like him, because you probably had a couple of those options out there. The reality is, you want to be with the 10. And it's understandable. People can say that's shallow or whatever, but it's understandable. That's what you want. You want to be with a person of this particular level. But if you don't have options at that level, then you're going to have no choice but to tolerate whatever that person's doing or walk away and be alone and then later on go to, uh, down the road, end up tolerating the same type of stuff again. When you don't have the options that you really, really want, there's no real choices out there and you can't really dictate how you're going to be treated. So it's all about the presentation, how you present yourself publicly when you go out places. What type of people are you hanging out with? What are you wearing? What are you doing? Um, how are you presenting yourself? Are you smiling? Are you bringing people to you? High quality people. Are you bringing those people to you? When you set up your social media accounts, are you saying a bunch of bitter stuff? Are you seeming angry? Are you seeming like somebody who's desperate? Somebody who's not happy? Are you seeming like the type of person that high quality people would just want to walk away from? If that's the case, then you're not going to have options. So if you ever get an opportunity to talk to somebody who's of high quality, they're going to have the upper hand. The reality is the same person who might treat you like dirt would treat somebody else like a queen. And it's not even because they're better than you. It's not because they're better looking. It's not because they're smarter. Most of the time it's because they're presenting themselves better. It's just like anything else, just like sales. If you're selling a product, it's all about how you package that product. It's all about the commercial. It's all about how you show people that product has value. And this is with everything, whether you're a man or a woman, it's like that. It's all about how you show people that product has value. If you don't sell your product in a way that shows the customer that it has value, then you're going to find yourself down there with the dredges, down there with the lower level products. If you show that you do have value, then you have more options. You have more customers trying to buy and you can continue to raise the prices. You would take Netflix and chill from somebody eventually, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but you'll end up taking Netflix and chill when you don't have those same we don't have other options we don't have multiple people who are on their level offering you better eventually you're going to take that Netflix and chill but if you have other options then you're not going to take that even if you just had a bunch of Netflix and chill options well the reality is you're going to be turning down multiple other people you might take one guy's Netflix and chill but then there's a bunch of other people on the same level as him offering the same thing well guess what you're going to keep not replying to their text. You're going to keep um, ignoring their phone calls. You're going to keep ignoring messages on social media. And guess what that does? It causes them to have no choice but to offer more. Maybe not all of them will, but one or two of them will. Then you start taking what they have to offer and leaving this other person behind. It's kind of like using this person as a stepping stone. It's no problem with that. That's what they were trying to do to you, right? 
So if you give yourself options, now you have control of the situation. Now you control what you take and what you don't take. You control the situation by understanding the fact that if you have more and more options, if you can do more, then you can say no to more. If you already have your weekend filled up and somebody offers you something lame like Netflix and chill or they offer you something like, you know, um, let's hang out at my house and you make me something to eat, even though this is our first date. You're not going to be doing that kind of stuff because you just don't have to. You're not in a position where you have nothing else to do. And I know a lot of people are like, man, I wish somebody would offer me Netflix and chill. I'm not even getting that. That's what I'm talking about. You don't have the options. So therefore, anything someone offers you, eventually you're going to take. Give yourself options. And most of that is about presentation, how you present yourself in public, how you present yourself on social media. And if you can attract the top notch people to you, then that means that you're going to get more from those people because now you have the upper hand because you have options. Hopefully I was able to help you out. Once again, it's your man, Chaz Ellis. Make sure you go to the ChazEllisProject.com if you want to get any extra help like detailed questions, consultations, uh, social media profile reviews, anything like that. Go to the ChazEllisProject.com. Also, make sure you like and subscribe and share this video with somebody else. Peace.